It's massive. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to my channel. This morning, I have been invited to come to the Monroe County His History Center annual yard sale. Um, it's not open to the public yet, but they've so graciously invited me to come today. So let's go see what we can find. My word, it's massive. <laughs> um, okay, we've got Christmas trees. And I think furniture over here, but I'm gonna start like right here. We've got Christmassy stuff, so that's what I want to start with. Oh, we've got little bottle brush trees here, so those are two dollars. So I am going to get some of these bottle brush trees, they're not marked Japan. I'm just gonna get a couple like the big one that I see there. Santa. Little Santa guy there. Wow. He's fun too. He's 22. He's a little old world Santa there. He's 15. These are five. They're in their original box. Little candles there. It's a cute little tree. Oh, look at this. Oh, can't reach. That's a cute little tree. Look at that. There's a couple of these, and I just think that they're adorable. So I'm going to get those. They're $3. Some little cornbread pans. Some copper and brass. Well, oh, it doesn't have it. Oh, it's dingers been silenced. Oh, there's toys. Oh, and look at this. It's a wiener mobile. It's a little plushy wiener mobile. It's a little jigsaw puzzle. We got the Twinkie Man and the Bread Man and A&W and Jelly Belly and Mr. Peanut. Those are fun. It's a cute little bear here in the stove. Oh, here's a little uh, Russian nesting doll. She's $8. We've got Robin Hood. This little stove, I've sold those before. This is fun here too. Little matchbox car. We've got, these are, oh look, the little Shriners for $2. I think there might be cake toppers. Oh, there's clowns in that bag. But these are like little British soldiers. You get the whole bag for $2. You can have your own little soldier town. Oh look, there's little baby Jeff Jeff. He's falling in the basket. Thimbles unlock the magic. They look like Annalise. Oh my gosh, they're heavy. They're ten dollars each. Look at the book Songs That Never Die. This is a button book. It's two dollars. Oh, look at those little anthropomorphic buttons. So these are it's two dollars for the whole stack of little readers, little Bible lessons for kindergarten children. I'll get that. She got her little button box. Beautiful tribal pieces here too. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for these. These that's amazing. Wow. Look at these little scissors. They're kitty cutout scissors still on their original packaging. There are two of them and I'm gonna get them. That is a stinking adorable. Here's a campfire marshmallow tin. Well I'm gonna get that. It is a reproduction, but they're pretty collectible. I have a couple of them myself. I love them. Look at that little gober. I don't know. But wow. I mean, I have not even scratched the surface. I'm just, there's just so many, so many things. Oh, here's a little cracker tin. I have this exact same one. I'm not going to get that one since I already have one. I haven't sold it yet. Look at these clenching nails with that dog on there and then here we'll look at these little hors d'oeuvre servers you can poke your your cheese and stuff with these little pigs that's adorable there's china there's a little shawan i was looking at this bottle here that's beautiful it's 45 dollars it's an art glass bottle with a millie fiori that's beautiful oh wow 
25 for that. $2 for this little, that's beautiful. This Royal Dalton. Wow. Some Italian pieces there. This is a Capo di Monte. Yes, that is Capo di Monte, but you always find it with little boobers on it though. It's just so delicate. Got little tea cups. I've not even scratched. They have a holding area where you can put your things, which I'm going to have to do because I'm already full. Look at the little miniature drums. That they Look at that. They've got the little drumsticks and a little mini violin and its case. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, look at all of these. Those are adorable. Some ephemera here. Some photographs. Oh, I love this stuff. Bird guide. Close encounters of the third kind. It's aliens. The whole earth log. I got three brass deer. Those are coming home with me. Here we've got some little glass critters check out the glass critters the bluebirds happiness seven dollars so i'm probably gonna well that one's got a broken beak though which is this one this one's eight dollars does not have a broken beak so i will get that here's a little bitty one for six dollars i'll get that one too and then here's a little turtle for four dollars Cute little light blue turtle. And then here is a little whale for three dollars. Oh, he's cute too. I like the little and here is a clear glass whale. There is a clear glass bunny. And here's an elephant. Oh, he's got all kinds of Millie Fiori. But he's got a broken trunk though, unfortunately. And we've got this is a pretty basket. It's 20. So, oh, you're pretty. Four dollars. Iced tea, not to be confused with the wrapper. That's kind of pretty. I like its little tail. It could be like a little ring holder. And then here's a little Millie Fiori turtle for eight dollars. Oh man. All of these items have been donated by the community as a fundraiser for the, the museum center so this is just amazing that all of these things have been donated so that's a wonderful wonderful thing to see it's a big fundraiser for them this is a piece of hager it's five dollars i think it would be a flower pot it would have i think it would have hung that's really cool oh look here salt and pepper shakers uh, let's see. I don't see any that I have to have. There's a little single dog right there. He's pretty cute. All of the books, too. So many books. Little figurines. There's a little donkey. A little bear and his little chick. Oh, here's a cat. Somebody's made that cat. It's like a devil cat. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's a little Joseph pig for 50 cents. I think we'll we'll take him home. The babies. There's a cat back there. I heard that guy, they sold him a turtle. You would look like a grumpy bear. Let's see. I love the babies. Here's a bunny. Here's a little bear. We're looking for, oh, there's lamb chop. Lamb chop. Looking for the vintage. Oh, you're vintage. Look at his little ears. It's cute. Oh, that's a shark. Yeah, shark puppet. And there. Oh, here's a bear. Lady and the Tramp bear. Or dog. Lady and the Tramp dog. I don't see any of my old plushies. Gosh, that's adorable. Uh, $15. That's just so cute. Look at Rudolph. He's got little, little lenticular eyes. And then here's a little toy soldier cup. They look great as a assemblage for Christmas. 
Got some little Winnie the Poohs. I just had a Disney sale. Here's a little um, Dalmatian dog. Oh, look, there's Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear. Another turkey. $2, no more turkeys. I have so many that I need to sell. We've got Valentine's Day. I will be doing a haul at the end of this video because it's, it's so overwhelming and I'm trying to look. So I'm going to... I may pop in with a few more things, but I'm going to be doing a haul at the end of this video. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. All the babies. Babies, babies. Oh, hi, baby. She got sleepy time eyes. There are some old dolls here. All dolls. Look at these little babies. Okay, so, okay, I thought that they were going to be all porcelain. But they're not. They are made by Russ. Now, this one... This one is a little older. It's a strong doll. She's made in Japan. And then these little celluloid. Look, she's she's a little princess. She's got little braids. She's got little dangly legs. And then we've got Mamma and Papa. Oh, look, there's uh, Pebbles. Pebbles. And the Shirley Temple. I think that is a Marie Osmond doll. Cabbage patches. And then, oh, well, that baby's sad. There's an American Girl doll. There's a gooned. But look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at that little baby. That's so cute. Someone's made these out of socks. Well, those are adorable. Look at these. Those are really cool. And all of these. Wow. Dolls of many lands. What are you? Oh, you're a pouty girl. Are you? Well, let's see. Let's see if you've got a name on the back of you somewhere. You kind of look like one of those like poor pitiful dolls. There pardon her. We're undressing her so we can see what she says. Well, she's 2002. She's new. You're too new for me, girl. Hello. This is me several weeks later getting ready. Well, I've already edited the first part of this video and I actually had filmed an entire haul of everything that I bought and I don't know what happened to it. So pretty much everything that you saw me pick up are things that I bought with the exception of a couple things that I'm getting ready to show you. So I guess this is very loosely the haul of the video. Now this yard sale was amazing. It was amazing. And they have one again in June. So they have one in June and they have one in November. And it is the major fundraiser for the Monroe Center or the Monroe County History Center, um, which is a, a museum and library. There's a store also attached to it as well. Um, and everything that you saw in that video was donated by, well, by people. They donated all of that stuff. And there were Waterford Crystal. I mean, there were amazing things that were donated by the community as a fundraiser for the Monroe County History Center. They let me tour it a little bit early. I got in. They open it up for employees of um, and, you know, members, museum members. Uh, so they contacted me and I was able to go in a little bit early and film and um, maybe kind of bring a little bit more awareness because they are accepting donations um, beginning January 11th for the June sale. So I will put up, actually I'm going to hold up a QR code. If you want to scan that QR code to get more information, you can do, you can pause the video if you wanted to and scan that QR code. I will put all of the information if you wanted to make a donation in the description down below. But thank you so much for um, letting me come in and tour it early. And these two things that I'm going to show you, I paid $35 each for these. And I wanted to say that all the proceeds go towards the uh, Monroe County Cent History Center. I can't say for sure if these were... 
if the pictures that are inside these albums are original or if they're just cabinet cards that someone just kind of stuck in. So I'm going to I'm going to aim the camera down so you can not look at my mug and you can we can look at these these albums together. Well, this has just been an epic <laughs> video because I was recording some of this and it didn't even have record. So we're recording now. Uh, so this first album has a little bit of, it has the silver kind of um, overlay. The, the binding of it is a little faded and it is missing the clasp. Half of the clasp is there and the, it's, it's mainly filled with a lot of cabinet cards. So there isn't a lot of provenance on any of them. So you can see, I can pull this one out of this gal right here. And it says Scranton, Pen Scranton, Pennsylvania on the bottom. And most of them do are from Pennsylvania. So I, I'm i not sure if these originally came in this album or if they were added, you know, just randomly added in. So I, I, I would say that they are definitely turn of the century or just before, just by the way that they are dressed. There's some children. Now, this one does say... Uh, Rosina Swartzkopf and friend. And then this really looks like the same lady. So they could, they could be, you know, a family album. There's a couple pages that don't have any photos. And then we have a few of them that have a little bit of like the cheeks are blushed. So that's really nice. And she's got this really neat hat. And then there's some children, like here's a little girl here. And then this card right here, this cabinet card of this little girl, she's got some flowers in her hands. And on the back of it has this really neat uh, stamp advertisement for ta the, the view and port Taylor, the view and portrait artist. None but the instantaneous process used. Views for sale and made to order. 15 years experience on 75,000 pictures. Uh, Scranton, Ohio. You can get six large cabinet cards for 99 cents a dozen. And then there are some tin types in here of these children, and their faces are blushed. And let's see. I don't know if this one... It is a tin type, and it's in this matting of this little girl, and her little cheeks are blushed. Isn't she sweet? And a little boy right here. But no, no names on the cards, which, you know, is a kind of a thing. Put names, put names on your pictures. I mean, if you even print pictures out anymore. But look at those little children here. Let's see if there's any names on the back of this one. Some of them are a little hard to get out. Like, I don't want to do it too hastily and ruin. Yeah, see, no, no name written on the back of that one. And then we've got gentlemen on this side. And then there's another tin type right here of these gals. Let me hold it up a little bit. They're having a good time. And this gentleman right here was a postcard. Handsome fella there. So that's the end of that album. And then I haven't even showed you this one. Oh. This one's just amazing. It's got this beveled mirror, and it has the Liberty Bell, Philadelphia um, Liberty Bell, and it is the Liberty Bell. There's a the big crack in it. This one does have the gold lined pages, and it does have the clasp intact. However, it is broken on one side, and it does have the stand on the back as well. So this one, the album itself, is in wonderful condition with these gold corners. And let's open this one up so we can see. This one that's also filled with photos. And again, not sure if they originally came in this album or if they were added at a later time. Oh gosh, just these family portraits. I, it's just hard to tell because there is some wear on the bottoms where the pictures were added in. Look at this handsome guy. Look at that mustache. Dapper. Dapper man with his little uh, carnation in his pocket. It's just, it's just amazing to me. And then this is a calling card for Rose. Oh, I wonder if this was her. 
was kind of attached to that card. They're just a little hard to pull out. So this says Elite Studio on the back, or on the front, but no name on the back. But this card was on the bottom of it. He looks like a professor. You a professor, sir? I would say these are 1912. And then I noticed this died. So Nellie uh, P. Decker, Scranton, Pennsylvania, July 1904. She died. She was the wife of John W. Decker. Her love for me shall never be forgotten. She ever sleepeth in the arms of Jesus, free from sickness, sorrow, and pain. That's just cool. I don't know if there's any more parts to it. Like I said, I'm just trying to be really careful. I have to take it out very carefully. But there's these two gals here. That's on a postcard. And this little child right there. Some empty pages in this album. And then... There's a little girl right there with no name on it in a building. Don't know where that's at. And a few more pictures. There's a little, a little baby right here. Just makes you wonder if this was the mother and father and that was the baby. But we do not know because there's no, no names. There's some more children right here. All right, guys. So those albums were really pretty cool, right? And it was a great experience to be able to go to the to have an early access to the yard sale and knowing that everything that was going towards the museum and all of the works that they do for the community so thank you guys so much for going shopping with me um thank you to the monroe county um history center for allowing me to come and uh and film and being so gracious and so kind and um i really I, it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun i don't go to a lot of garage sales or you know yard sales because they just they just aren't really plentiful in this area but that one ooh, baby it was a big one it was a big one and i can't wait to go to the next one in june so thank you guys so much for um going shopping with me and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you are not subscribed and also make sure that you're subscribed to my second channel thrifter junker vintage hunter live the link is the first one that you see in the description that's where i have all of my live sales every tuesday at one o'clock eastern along with my buddy michael from the cult of vintage so i hope that you will go ahead and subscribe so you can come to the live sales those albums will be available in an upcoming live sale very very soon thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you leave a comment on your way out and i will see you in the next one bye guys red hot mama red hot mama you're the one we need red hot mama some drama yes indeed you say that i should be in the follies hot tamales say that i got a pair of eyes just like old Sven Valleys. I confess that I possess the sweetest charms in town. And unless I miss my